what does the basic employment contract look like? Remember, when we are talking about the contract, we are looking at the agreement between the employer and the employee. When we look at the basic employment contract in the Gulf countries, it can be Qatar, it can be Saudi Arabia, it can be Kuwait, Bahrain, any of the Gulf states, or any of the that work that you are going to do that is outside even the Gulf state. The basic employment contract itself should be that contract that is put in writing and should be authenticated by what you call the ministry that is responsible and mostly most of the time it's the ministry of labor that is responsible for authentication of what you call the labor contract and the labor contract itself will bear what you call three copies it should have what you call three copies one copy for the employee one copy for the employer and one copy for the ministry that is taken as a third copy for authentication however something that we need definitely to understand that what are those things that carefully you should observe as you are looking at what you call the employment contract and that is what we have to see one not of the following things as you try to look at that contract or the contract you are assigning or you are going to put a hand or your signature depending on which kind of work you are going to do one look at the employer's name or what you call the place of work. What is that company that is going to recruit you? What is its place? Where is it located? Is it located is it in Saudi? Is it in Qatar? Or it is any of the country? So it should be measured in the country. Then look at what you call the worker's name. What is your name? What is your qualification? What is your nationality? And what is your professional or place of residence? All those should be included, should be uh, clearly stipulated or written down in what we call the contract. Then also look at what you call the date of conclusion of the contract is also very important. It should be one of the careful things that you should look at as we look at that contract before you put a hand or a signature. Then look at the nature and the type of work you are going to do that is also very important look at the commencement date when is that contract going to begin most of the time the day you sign up the contract that will begin that will be the beginning of that contract look at the duration of the contract how is it going to run for how long period is it going to be for two years is it going to be for three years is it going to be for unlimited five years then look at the agreed salary benefits like accommodation transportation food and all methods of what you call payment or uh, payment of salary should also be included in that contract then something else you should consider is what you call the probation period is quite very important most of you sign contracts without even knowing what is the probation period in that contract country or according to the labor laws in that country and which is quite quite very important so you should know uh, you should definitely know that this is what is going to have in this contract then it's also important and very important as i always keep on saying to keep a copy of your contract to copy a, to keep a copy of that contract with you because in any way or the other it will be the only proof or the only evidence when you are trying to claim for some of your benefits like gratitude and other benefits like unpaid sick leave or even your vacation plan in terms of trouble or in terms when you need it so you should make sure that you pressure your employer such that he can give you what you call uh, what you call a copy of the contract to countries like in the gulf is quite made very easy you can even uh, get a copy of your contract online using different website for here in Qatar, you can get a copy of your contract online you can request but however something that you need to understand is your your qid what you call the residence permit must be linked directly to what you call your mobile phone because it's your mobile phone that is going to receive what you call the otp and then you'll have to log in then they'll have to open and give you show you the contract it's the only way that you're going to prove that my employer submitted the contract uh, submitted the contract and it is an authenticated contract with the Ministry of Labor. Thank you so much for coming back to this channel. It's Max from the Max Creation. By the way, if it's your first time to come across this channel, consider subscribing and supporting this channel.